Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about an experience which happened to me, which I had a very, very surprising kind of reaction, which really took me back many years ago now. Um, I have been left school, let me think, nearly 12 years. Um, I'm, I recently turned 28 years of age and I've been left school 12 years and it probably happened maybe 13, 14 years ago now, may even be a little bit longer than that, but it it never kind of leaves you, the effect it actually has on you, and I, and I really realised that today actually. So I seen the person who used to bully me um, many years ago, um, and what a strange and surreal experience. So I was in a store, um, I was with my mum doing some shopping actually, preparations for Christmas, so some Christmas shopping actually, um, laughing and joking one minute with my mum, um, and this year has been really, really difficult, so I've been spending a lot of time, and, I'm, and my mum is a best friend to me, and um, with my brothers and things being really, really busy and not necessarily having the time, I'm extremely close to my parents, so very often I'm out and about with my mum, and um, so we were doing that today, and I was paying for an item, which um, I was paying for an item, and I was in a, like a, I think it was one or two people behind me, um, and I was paying for something, and I happened to glance behind me, and as I turned behind me, I gave the, I gave the items uh, to the cashier, the person who was um, putting my items through, and we were in a sports shop, so as you do, I was looking around at a few different things, and a couple of things sort of caught my eye what I was looking at, and as I looked behind, there was this person who used to make my life hell, and as soon as it, and this person hadn't, uh, several years older than me, but had not changed, had really not changed, it was almost like that, it It sounds weird, but it was almost like that time had had just stood still for this particular person, and um, I just, you know, I turned back around and I just froze, and I felt like I was that young teenager again, um, this happened in my early teenage years, and I just absolutely froze, and just as I was paying for something, of course, the uh, lady behind the counter, uh, she said the amount, and sometimes even with my hearing problems, and the, with the best one in the world, I sometimes struggle with hearing, um, particularly if you have a mask or the, or the cashier has a mask on. So I, or the retail assistant or whatever you, is the best appropriate term to use. Um, and of course, first of all, it, I just, I was froze by what, what i just seen, who I'd just seen behind me. And I got mesmerised and I, I couldn't remember the PIN number on my card which I was paying for and because it was above the contactless limit and you know what, I could hear this person behind me laughing and going with someone else of a uh, similar age I hadn't recognised the other guy, it was two guys behind me and, um, and well it's, even now, you know, it ruined the rest of my, my time out, it ruined the rest of my time out in, in the, the town where I was, um, and yeah, I just didn't, I didn't want to know anything, it took me right back, right back to a time where this particular individual would make my life so unnecessarily uncomfortable, and would sort of start from the smallest of things, sort of like calling names and things, um, and, but then making things uncomfortable, like sort of blocking corridors, doorways, getting other, of other people, I suppose, in his social circle, you would call it now, I suppose, um, groups of mates, whatever, what have you, um, just sort of make it worse, and it was every time I've seen this particular person. Um, yeah, not a very nice time in my life at all. Um, I am a twin, if you don't already know that, I am a twin, so it was, it was, it was great in a way to, uh, of course, have my, my twin brother there, um, we're both strong people, I've been for an awful lot in my life already, um, but he's more the, I mean, I, I do not hate anyone, I don't even hate this individual, I, I, I actually feel sorry for him, actually, um, but whereas my brother, he can, he's, he's got a, not aggression, but he's got more of a, I suppose, more of a firmer outlook on life, whereas with me, I'm quite sort of, I, I always, I always try to, um, 
justify everything. So I always try to think that this person may have acted like this in a certain way. Um, back then, of course, it was really difficult to see it any other which way than this person being done right evil. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it, it was strange. And even now, I, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about it and how it takes me back even those years. I remember it so clearly as I literally just came home from school today. Um, it really did have an effect on me. And I'd gone from having a really amazing time. And my mum actually seen that I've, well, I just literally froze. I couldn't think of the pin number on the card, which I was trying to, to play with. And my mum came over and spoke with me. And um, straight away, she, knew, she wondered what was wrong. But it had that much of an effect on me. I could have quite easily have just left what I was paying for. Honestly, put my wallet on the side and, and walked off. Because I did not want to be in that space. I did not want to be in that situation. But yet, you know what? I'm in a position where I have meetings on a regular basis. I, I talk and address to very senior high level uh, management. Um, I talk with senior management people all the time. I've given speeches on things. I've heard in my own interest. I've given talks on um, on Alzheimer's dementia from um, through looking after my my grandmother and, and standing with her throughout her journey and her battle of that illness. I've met many many people of all different. Um, all, all sorts of people, um, whether that be sort of very, very high up people, whether that be um, anyone, literally anyone. I've worked in retail banking and I've and I've dealt with people who have been real top people to people who are very unfortunate and are very down on their luck on the streets. Every single person who I've addressed, I always address with that notion of thinking if they were my mother, if they were my nan, if they were my brother, if they were my friend, I treat everybody as though I would like to be treated, as though I would like my niece and nephew to be treated. I, I'd like my nan to be treated, my mum, my dad, etc. You get what I'm trying to say? I never, ever am aggressive. I could not hate anyone. I could not lay a finger on anybody at all. I would sort of help somebody. I'd, I'd sort of try to justify a situation. So when I think back to how horrible pure horrible this person used to be, it almost makes me feel like that for a second, like that you, you took me off of being me. And it's really, really weird. It had such an effect on me. It really, really did. Um, we're, we're talking about different things. And do you know, I didn't have a horrific time. Absolutely. There are so many people that had a worse time than me. I loved going to school. I loved my school, uh, my whole school years. I absolutely loved and I've got, had some fantastic times. And I've done extremely well in my education, even if I say so myself. And it's quite, I'm very, very proud of that fact. But I worked damn hard. But there were one or two people. And straight away, I this particular person used to really, really go at me for how I used to speak. Um, I've never really picked up on it, but I was always brought up to speak correctly. I was always brought up that we couldn't use slang words. We couldn't use sort of, we couldn't be relaxed in how we come across in our speech or anything. We had to, my father was very strict on us with that. That's where I, I pride myself on how I come across. Um, and again, I, thinking that I was, and I, I'm, I'm not, but coming across and, and this was thrown at me in so many different ways. Um, all sorts of all sorts of horrible sort of things being said, but of course I can take the odd comment. It's like being on social media. I can take a comment being thrown at me. That's absolutely fine. But when it's when you're in an age when even the most smallest of phrase or word, every single time you see a person, or for example. And when you think back now, really weird. I mean, when you think of it, sort of like blocking the door for me to get in the bathroom or literally waiting in there for me to come out of the cubicle, that type of thing. Like literally sort of trying to belittle somebody, like calling somebody gay and, and making out that you were really, really like... And when you think about yourself, how weird and how action, I mean, you could turn around and say, what on earth was you doing? And I remember sort of all these horrible, horrible things. And actually you could turn back around and say, were you OK? Were you weird? Are you are you not comfortable with your own self? Is that why you were saying all of these things? And I and I just remember all of these occasions, our main corridor through being at um, school and blocking entrances and blocking sort of ways and and just and just really belittling in horrible, just literally making your life so uncomfortable. Um, yeah, 
It wasn't every day, but it was quite often for, for quite a while. And you know, when that person left, it was amazing. It was probably the happiest day when that person left my school I was at. But yeah, so I sympathize with people who were going through that. And you know what, it brought, I haven't thought about it for years and it brought it all back to me today. It really, really did. Um, and I remember it was sort of just things like stupid names now, but things were really sort of, I'm trying to think of it now, but sort of picking up on how I would speak, how I would, how I would, um, be dressed sort of I always um always sort of very pride always had slick back hair sort of um always very smart very presentable but that's how we were brought up that's how we we were sort of of course if you're brought up in that way then you carry on those mannerisms and and those sort of routines and things and again just almost because I had like nice things and things at school I was sort of that was sort of put it in my face quite a lot um and and yeah absolutely I mean when you think of it now calling somebody whatever name, whatever you want to call whoever, but really, wow. But it, it was, it was nasty. It was, it was really horrendous at times, but it wasn't horrific, but I did have a difficult time with this particular person. So when I seen them, it really took me back. It really, really did. Um, I would always say to anybody, never try to be somebody you're not. Always be confident in who you are. Have courage. Talk to people absolutely talk to people. My mum today seen what an effect it had. I've had problems with low mood in my life. I've had problems with, I'll be quite honest, probably depression. Um, that word is used a lot in society. Um, but yeah, and that was a dark time in my life. There was two individuals who were mates and would purposely kind of almost now, I can look back, kind of almost work together to make my time, sometimes at school, um, in certain years, my early years of my secondary school, really quite horrible. And there were one or two times where I, I used to dread going to school at times, even though I used to love school. Um, so yeah, really, really horrible. But, but yeah, absolutely horrible. Wouldn't wish it on anybody at all. And what a really horrific sort of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish anybody to go through that at all. I'd sooner it was myself rather than anyone else. But I think that when somebody sort of puts somebody to the point of actually they're not wanting to go to school anymore. They're, they're sort of in a situation in their life where they're feeling so utterly on the ground. Then, and, and, and do you know what? This is strange because I had an experience of this in my workplace. I was 21 and I had a manager which made my life hell. And in the end, I had an experience where I was stood in a particular place in our town, which was just before going into my workplace, which was a very um, where we are here in the town, some of our banks are made from stone and they're really, really very extravagant, very immaculate, sort of incredible buildings. And I remember being stood outside and it had a bell tower. And I remember looking up and thinking, wow. And there was, I won't go into it, but if somebody makes you think of a certain path, which you would never dream of doing, um, with what have you, then you know that enough is enough and something has to be done. So there's been, off the top of my head, there's been a couple of occasions in my life where this has happened and someone's made me feel like this and someone's had that horrible, not control, but made you feel kind of worthless and kind of just, yeah, pretty damn right horrible, really, really horrible. Um, but yeah. But yeah, and, and as you can probably tell, I'm still very shocked by it today. I really am. But but yeah, wow, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I used to even get, I used to get sort of, um, these particularly two people whilst I was at school, used to, used to really, because I came to school with nice things and, and okay, perhaps, perhaps, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps whatever they were going through, whatever, I'm now trying to understand it, perhaps even trying to justify it, that's probably where my fault is. But really, why would you do that to somebody? I mean, I've only ever been nice to people in my life. And these two people would do this all the time. And I remember about being being called gay. Um, I mean, that used to be, that used to, it just used to get pathetic in the end, like thinking, are you it? Are you doing it because you're uncomfortable yourself? And it, I mean, really, 
I honestly think whoever goes through that, whether it be social media and life and is is bullied by whether it be adults, whether it be at school, for a whole host of different reasons, through not through not perhaps having very much in life, perhaps coming from a less fortunate background, which is is there's no issue. And again, covering that covering that, whether somebody somebody whether they were gay or whether um even a disability. I remember having horrific nosebleeds at school and I remember comments sometimes being passed at me for that. And I remember saying that I would, um, I can't remember what it, uh, quite what it was now, but people sort of freaking out. I used to suffer with horrific nosebleeds all the time in classes and things, but just like, yeah, real horrible. So, I mean, sometimes, yeah, I don't know what to say really quite to that, but it has really affected me, as you can think, because all these things are going through my mind. But yeah, I mean, just wow. So, absolutely horrible, absolutely horrible, but I've worked hard, I've absolutely worked hard, I really, really have. How I speak, I'm very, very proud of that. I am not gay at all, um, there is not a problem in that at all, if you are, that's absolutely fine if you are. Um, I just think that, wow, and do you know what I mean, I have hearing problems, and I've had, I've had different experiences of that before, but my problems now are part of me. They are me. Um, and yeah, I'm proud of how hard I've worked in this life. I really have. But all these things, all these things get flooding back when you have one experience like that. So I just thought I would share that with you. My channel is all about sometimes um, offloading the things that are going on in my head. And I use my channel, this bumpy road of life, as a tool, almost like as a virtual diary. So yeah, these things are sent to try us, aren't they? And try us, they do, as my nan, bless her heart, would say. Okay, thank you very, very much for sharing this with me. Um, a real difficult one to talk about. And I suppose what I just want to, what I want to leave you with, a notion that if somebody is making you feel that uncomfortable, or whether it be if you're in a relationship and it's not going right, or something's going on, or someone's being even it could be violence, it could be nasty, it could be where someone's picking on you because of a disability, it could be that you are gay, and it could be that something, somebody's perpetrating you just because of who you are, or it could be a whole host of different reasons, it could be your race, it could be the colour of just your skin, how pathetic is that? You are who you are, it does not matter to those individuals, I actually pity them, and I actually feel sorry for them. So on the back of that, stay strong. I'm going to try and have a word with myself and get myself out of this, but it did really affect me today. And at the end of the day, thank you very much for being here, the people what count, and my very best wishes to you. It means the world that you have watched this clip, so thank you very much for that, and until next time, I will see you then. Bye for now.